New Orleans soul and funk shows were the underground scenes of their day. As a broke ass, that's what I'm looking for in a night out, and why I want to explore today's underground scene, bounce music, and its current leading lady, Big Frida, at the New Orleans Art House. I'm Broke Ass Stewart, and I'm in an incredibly dangerous treehouse in New Orleans. Ah! This precarious treehouse is part of a larger live music venue for some of the wildest underground shows in town. Just doing a little maintenance. All in a day's work. Did you build all this yourself? It was built by Scott Pterodactyl and some of his minions. Where is Scott Pterodactyl these days? He's probably out looking for um, some more wood and rope. <laughs> really? I've been told that something amazing is about to happen here tonight. Big Freed is going to play. Oh, yeah. It'll be a blue lights in the basement kind of party. Nice. I can dig I mean. that. I can dig that. You want to check out the house? Yeah, sure. This is the New Orleans Art House. There's about 10 to 15 artists that live here. Craft time at the art house, who, um, here's the bull. This lights up and shoots fog out the horn. Seriously? Yeah. So the show's gonna be in here. Yeah, I think so. Brad will be doing some tattoos. The name of the party is Tattoos and Chicken Wings. When the party starts rolling, the art house transforms into an underground spectacle with bodies getting inked and people shaking their asses to the main attraction, Big Freedom. For those who don't know, this is bounce music. And that tower of transgender hotness is Big Frida, the bounce queen of New Orleans. If you want to walk through the projects in New Orleans in the safest way possible, put on a bunny suit, you know, like do something stupid. And everyone will appreciate you for being who you are. For musicians, it's one step further. If you can rock a party, that's all anyone really cares about. Right. And nobody cares who you are or what you are. What is bounce music? Well, bounce music is a up-tempo, heavy bass and call response type music. Kind of like what the Indians do here around Mardi Gras time. They call out one thing, the crowd response. And it's definitely with ass shaking included in it. The dancing and stuff looks really, really sexual to most people, and it is. But there's a lot of personal expression going on, and girls want to be free to do that. There's bounce, and then there's sissy bounce. This sissy bounce moniker has been hung on the gay rappers. Hey, it's all bounce music. I'm just a sissy rapper who represents a part of the bounce music. This next song is self-explanatory. Ass everywhere. Can I get some volunteers? Last July 4th, Frida's boyfriend had been murdered three hours before the show. Frida went on stage and did it. And that's part of like this, this, this attitude in New Orleans that you, you don't just do for yourself, you do for everyone around you. You don't just not walk on stage because you've got a problem or whatever. You walk on stage because everyone in the room needs it. And it's just something that you can't, I mean, you can't compare it to a lot of other cultures, you know? Put your hands on the ground! Hands on the ground! It's a place where there's so much adversity. Shit sucks so bad that the pleasure is that much greater. Frida is just sort of the embodiment of that energy for me and for a lot of people. That was truly ass everywhere. <laughs> I saw Big Frida kill this shit. You're a young girl from Beautiful, and I totally wish you were here. Girl, yeah!